All right, so we're here at a, one of the participants' homes, and he's going to walk us through the changes that he did um, to his irrigation system. All right, Jesus. So what I did was that I went ahead and changed the uh, sprinkler heads and the, the sprinkler body itself. I installed sprinkler bodies that already regulate the pressure for the uh, sprinkler head that optimizes the sprinkler head. And the sprinkler heads that I put on there were the uh, rotator heads. So I installed, I replaced existing ones and I added one additional one to make sure that I have full coverage. I also eliminated the sprinkler heads that were along the hedge and flower beds. And in that section I installed the uh, dripper line with a, a filter with a regulation device that reduces the pressure that's coming from the valve itself to 25 psi. Uh, and again, that was to optimize the little mister heads that are on the uh, dripper line. So in this section, it was being flooded before with, uh, with about four sprinkler heads that uh, were spraying the amount of water that would be needed for grass and not uh, plants and hedges. Now, for the most part, this is already established uh, plant area, so it doesn't need as much water. But since I had just recently planted um, which I can't remember the name of them, but these pink plants, these pink uh, flowers, I uh, needed to water them a little bit more than uh, what normally would have to be done when they are established. The nice thing about the drippers is that they're also adjustable, and once they're established, I can close them down to uh, not spray any more or spray very little. And the same goes for this side of the this is already established plants, and so I don't need as much water as you had indicated to me. So what I did was, again, I put a dripper line on there. Currently, the dripper line doesn't have any misters, but that's for in the future in case I do uh, put some new plants that need to have uh, watering to get them established. I can then just add them on as I need them. As you can see, the change from the regular sprinkler heads to the rotator heads has had no impact on my grass. As a matter of fact, I probably have one of the greener grasses in the neighborhood. On this side, it was very much the same. Uh, this side, I changed the sprinkler heads and the sprinkler bodies. Uh, but this side, I did not put any kind of dripper line. I'm trying to go with as much drought tolerant plants on this side and that way I eliminate any watering. And the only watering they get is some slight overspray from the sprinkler heads themselves. So was that the motivating factor behind most of your plant decisions or lower water needs? Yes, uh, something that would um, bloom on a regular basis uh, year round and also that wouldn't need uh, as much maintenance as far as water was concerned. Those aren't too difficult to find, are they? No, and they're available at uh, most nurseries. And most nurseries have a little tag that's on them that gives you all the kind of all the information you need on how much sun, how much water they need. Over here, the the biggest impact um, or the biggest change that I have is uh, the change of the timer to a digital timer and the inclusion of um, what this company brand calls a, a solar sink. It's a smart timer that not only uh, makes adjustments based on rain, but it makes adjustments on the amount of sun that the yard has been exposed to over a certain period of time. If it's a very hot day with a lot of sun, the system automatically adjusts it to uh, uh, spray a little bit more water uh, for an extended period of time. If it's an overcast day uh, and it has uh, rain within the last few days, it will adjust it so it sprays a lot less. I went from a regular uh, analog uh, timer to this digital timer and also I changed from the index uh, valves to the electric valves. After that um, I eliminated all of the sprinkler heads on the side of the house since uh, this side of the house 
maintains a lot of moisture since it's a lot of, it's uh, shaded quite often. Um, and most of the plants here are already well established. These things were going to happen regardless of the, the program or did the program help? The program expedited um, its install. I mean, we have quite a few things. We moved in only six months ago. We have quite a few things that, you know, we have to still do in the house. And it probably would have been last on the agenda. Uh, given the, um, the availability of the program, it helped uh, leapfrog quite a few other items that I had and make it a more of a priority so that I could take advantage of the program.